it's the job, it's the mission of a presidential candidate to make the presidency that's now in effect seem terrible. And some people will go above and beyond to make that presidency seem terrible. Now it's the job of the president that's in power to show how great things are. So you're gonna see Donald Trump saying how terrible, and we've been saying it for the last couple of years. He's been talking about immigration and the economy and how terrible things are. And Joe Biden and Kamala Harris have been talking about how great things are. The only thing we have to do to dispel any notions of whether or not it's good or bad is to go to the numbers. Numbers don't lie, but the candidates do. And what we're supposed to do is fact check those candidates. For instance, if Kamala Harris or Joe Biden or Tim Walls go out and say anything that's contrary to what their record states, it's our job and it's the reporter's job to find out whether or not what they said was indeed a misspeak, a lie, or the truth. But there's one political party and one set of candidates who do not want to fact check anything. I noticed it a lot, but I really noticed it during a debate. Thank you, Governor. And just to clarify for our viewers, Springfield, Ohio, does have a large number of Haitian migrants who have legal status, right. temporary protected status. Well, Mar Mar Nora, Margaret, but, but thank you, Senator. No, we have no, no, so course. much to get to. Mar Margaret, thank I, you, I think Nora. it's important See, because we're going to turn out of the, the debate, economy. Thank Margaret, you, Margaret. The, the, the rules were that the you economy, guys weren't going to fact check, and since you're fact checking me, I think it's important to say what's actually going on. Now they agreed that the moderators were not going to fact check, and you know you're right. The moderators who's who's moderating a presidential debate should not really fact check but the trump campaign and jd vance in particular knew or was hoping that they would not fact check so he can go and lie about the springfield migrants but they are here under illegal status so now that they fact checked him and now he has to tell the truth now he says wait a minute hold on wait a minute you guys agreed not to fact check so because now you're going to fact check let me tell you the truth well you should have did that sir when she asked you the question and you lied. But okay, so never mind. They're vice presidents. Who's gonna listen to a vice president anyway, right? But then this happened with the presidential candidate, Donald Trump himself. Days later, Chung called to say, quote, the president said yes. Then a week ago, Trump backed out. The campaign offered shifting explanations. First, it complained that we would fact check the interview. We fact check every story. You know what's crazy? There would not be a statement or a phrase known as fact checking if political candidates told the truth. Now let's take Donald Trump for instance and his, and his campaign. Why are you so concerned about fact checking if you're telling the truth? But it seems you're not concerned about the truth. You're more concerned about spreading your false narrative and getting your lies out there to get votes and you don't want anybody to fact check you. Because if they do, they're gonna find out about the fraud that you really are. What do you think?